Hey guys, so I wanted to take some time to talk about the financial ex- aspects of the Mythic Editions. Now, they all started out at $250 a Mythic Edition. The first, as with many things, has always been the most profitable. The first Mythic Edition is now worth $625. So should you, like some popular YouTubers, order hundreds of them, you are now sitting on a gold mine because you paid $250. You got a special card, another Mythic Edition, if you will, from the Master Set. And now your Mythic Edition is worth $625. So it has more than doubled. Definitely, you won't have any problem selling it for $500. The second Mythic Edition, which many people thought would not be a good buy, including... Rudy from Alpha Investments, he was presented a opportunity to buy a large quantity of them. He turned them down. They now cost $325, which is a very big increase from $250. That's almost the price of a booster box. What are these and should you buy them? The answer is yes, you should buy them. Uh, What they are is a ploy to get people to buy boxes directly from Hasbro. Hasbro is like any e-commerce website. Uh, The majority of money, um, if you think about it, they make some money selling at Toys R Us and Walmart, but there's a middleman, right? So Hasbro has a problem, and the local game stores is part of that problem. They, They are the middleman. They get a box for, I'm hearing, 78 now. 78 or some change if you order a thousand or more they try to sell it on amazon for 90 or 95 if they're lucky with shipping what if they could just directly sell a box but not so they don't upset all these local game stores who they don't pay to have these tournaments don't pay for the space don't pay for the electricity wizard of coast ran a local game store way back in the past and it failed for many of the same reasons your local game store fails today it's not profitable people do it out of passion and this is a way to spite them you have direct to consumer sales which this absolutely is now 250 dollars is a large amount of money for anyone to buy and if you want a play set of jaces for instance in your modern deck well, you are going to need to spend $1,000, which many of us don't have that type of money. It's That's a lot of money when you talk about for cardboard. And this will only continue on. There will only be more Mythic Editions. I'm expecting um, Liliana the Veil to be here. I know that she was, yes, a Masters promo. But why not? I mean, so how many of you have asked... Is this worth investing? Uh, Rudy from Alpha Investment says no. The man of source says yes. Obviously, he has made a lot of money from this. I think it is. The prices don't lie. The original... Remember, you also got a free card. You got a free card valued at maybe $200. But if you spent $250 on the original Mythic Edition... It's worth 625 today in a very, very short period of time, less than two years. I think a year and a half, right? Only three sets away. So when people say it's not investing, I think that's kind of, it depends on your definition of investing. If you want to triple your money in a year and a half, then, and you consider that an investment, then yes, the original Mythic Edition was a very good investment. Now, the second one, which was not as strong as this one. This one is a lot stronger. This one is a lot stronger because it's got Ugin and it's got JST Mind Sculptor. Just those two combined depends right on the day but those two combined might be worth the 250 and then you get free a free booster box and then the other six 
I'm here to say that this one is better than the second one. And even the second one, which was only a few months ago. Remember, it was only a few months ago. The second one, and the second one had problems selling out, to be honest. It took a month to sell out. The second one is still $325 or a $75 increase in price for the exact same item. Uh, 75 divided by 250. Let's do some math here. Mathing. Uh, three out of 10. 30% increase. That's better than any product <laughs> matching together. Okay, so it's a 30% increase in price. 30% margins. Let's talk about a booster box from your local game store. Your local game store pays $78.79 a booster box. And that let's let's call it eighty dollars just for simple math. And your local game store tries to sell it for seven ninety, uh, giving them a ten dollar profit. But that doesn't include free shipping. And let's assume that somehow the person's going to pay, customer is going to pay for shipping, and insurance and mailing, and, and your time is worth zero dollars. You made ten dollars under the best case scenario. Well, ten dollars divided by eighty, that's one eight twelve and a half percent so you would need to sell two or three two and a half times as many normal boxes as it would take for a reseller again reseller to sell one of these that's insane right if a reseller sells four of them which i think will be a common denominator of how many they're buying they have essentially sold 10 boxes from your local game store, which some local game stores don't can't even sell 10 boxes at all. There's a lot to talk about this. Um, there's a problem of the rich get richer and the poor get poorer because if you're the rich, like the mana source, and you can get all your subscribers to donate you this product for, quote, charity. Yeah, he's sitting on a lot of $625 boxes now that you were limited to a person, but there's many ways to get past that. And if you have a lot of money, that's what you're going to do. You're going to have your subscribers order for you. You're going to have your family members. You're going to have PO boxes, I assume, or something like that. I don't know if PO boxes, but like something like that, where maybe it's like a fake office space that you're ordering from. Maybe you order at your office, right? I know my old office building, we had three different office numbers. We had 1212, 1250, and actually it was only two. Why did I think it was free? Maybe that was another law firm. But we had two different numbers for our same office. So we could theoretically order two there, one from my home, one from my employee's home. Every employee could order one or two of these and we would be wealthy. But I'm not going to do that because just like mobile games, you have to draw the line somewhere in the sand and say, hey, that's enough. Uh, I think that's enough for me. I've never really personally wanted to order these. Now, I do realize 100% you will make your money back and then some. There's no way that you pay 250 and this thing sells for less than 250 That being said, you're promoting this item. And the more they sell of it, the more they will sell. Um, I'm very much against this type of item because I think what it does is it segregates the magic community even more so than it currently is into do you have money? Okay, good. Give me your money. That shouldn't be... And that's why I kind of like MTG Arena now. MTG Arena is free to play, which is a lot different from the mindset of Magic Online where you have to pay for every pack, you... Magic Online is dead because there's a better version that doesn't cost money. Is there a better version of Magic the Gathering cards that doesn't cost money? It's probably MTG Arena. So, I like them. Don't get me wrong. You will make a ton of money buying this. You're not going to lose money. And yes, it is a safe investment. But you're encouraging very bad behavior on the business end. Um, there was that one MTG finance guy I don't really like. His name is James something. And he took his grandparents and his mother. This is, used to be you had to go to a magic fest to buy two of them. 
he took every single person he knew and he would just buy them and flip them and he made a lot of money. But the old MTG story where the guy buys out the commander for 50 cents and he buys all out all of them and now the commander is selling for $10 and then he buy lists them for 55 cents or 60 cents because the buy list hasn't changed. He's made money. He's made a few dollars. But what he has actually done is he has destroyed the secondary market for this card. This card that used to be less than a dollar is now selling for $10 because, and he didn't even make that much money. So you never bet against the house, right? The house in this case is, of course, Wizards of the Coast. Um, people were saying, oh, this can't be reprinted. This, Guys, come on. Are you serious? I mean, how long have you played Magic? How many times have they said something won't be reprinted? The only time that's actually been true is a reserve list. Otherwise, if it's in modern, yeah, it can be reprinted. These Mythic Planeswalker editions can easily be reprinted. How many reprints does Liliana of the Veil have? A bunch, right? Like GPs, judges. Like now I'm not just saying the card, but the artwork as well. Um, the artwork for many of the special cards are reused. Uh, sometimes in a core set even. Anyway, subscribe to my other channel. Bye, guys.